Okay, so in our previous chapter, we had created an internal load balancer, that is a TCP internal load balancer, and we had created a virtual machine instance, and that virtual machine instance, which was within the same VPC, was able to communicate with your load balancer. So here, the only caveat is that your virtual machine should belong to the same project, and it should belong to the same VPC, and it should be within the same region. So in this particular example, we'll see on what a private service connect is. So using a private service connect, you can connect your internal load balancer to another particular project. So we'll be creating another project. And within this project, we'll be creating a default VPC. And within this default VPC, we'll be creating a virtual machine within the same US Central One region. And this particular virtual machine should be able to communicate with your particular internal load balancer. So to do this, what you need to create is the private service connect. So let's see how we can create a private service connect and connect your virtual machine in another project, in another VPC to your internal load balancer that we had created previously. So here now, one thing to note is that your virtual machine should belong to the same particular region. So even though you're creating a private service connect and connecting it to a different project within a different VPC, it still is a regional construct and your virtual machine only which is residing within US Central One can connect to your internal load balancer. So that is important thing to remember. So, so if you're creating a virtual machine in another region that is not US Central One, you will still not you will not be able to communicate with your internal load balancer, which is in US Central One. So that's an important point to note. So now let's go and check the demo out. I'll see you in the demo. Okay, so now that you've created your internal load balancer, now this is again the same load balancer that we had used in our previous chapter. Let's create a private service connect out of this. So all that you need to do is you need to go to your private service connect, which is again within your network services. You can just click on this. And then you need to go to publish services here. And you need to publish the service. So you can just click on this. And here you need to mention that it's an internal TCP that we've added. And in the drop down, you will see that the load balancer that you've created. And here you need to give a service name. So let's just call this as my first service. And here you need to reserve a subnet. So let's click on reserve a new subnet. And here you need to give a name for your subnet. So basically this subnet would be exclusively used for this private service connect. So let's just call this as uh, service connect subnet. And here you can give a CIDR range. Of course, this CIDR range should not be present within the current default network. So let's click on add. So I'm going to use this particular CIDR range. And you can see that this particular CIDR range already overlaps with an already existing one. So let's just give this as, let's just make this as three zero and let's see if that works. And let's just give this as 24. So let's, so you have to make sure that the CIDR range is currently not overlapping with an existing one. So I will be using this particular CIDR range and let's click on add. you created your subnet specifically for your service connect the last thing you need to choose is basically whether you want to accept connections for serve for a selected project or you want to automatically accept connections for all the projects for this example let's just click on this one so any project can associate with this particular service connect so let's click on add service and let's create a service and now that you've created your service let's log into this service and what you need is this particular service attachment. So I'll be just copying this. Okay, so now that you've created your service connect, we'll be using another VPC to connect to this particular service connect. So let's log into another particular project that we have. So this is another VPC project that we have. Let's log into this. And within this particular project, what we need to do is we need to go to your private service connect again. This new project, what you need to do is you need to click on connected endpoints. So you can just click on connect endpoints, connected endpoints. And you need to choose the third option, that is the Publish Service. And here you need to give the name of your service. So this is the same service that I had copy pasted. And let's give a name for our endpoint. Let's just call this as My Endpoint. And again, this is basically the default network and it has to be within the same region. So let's click on Default. So you can create your own internal IP address. Let's click on Create IP Address. And let's click on Reserve.
So I already have on my IP address. So let's just make this as my IP address one and let's click on reserve and let's, let's reserve this private IP address. Okay, once you've done that, let's click on add endpoint. Now, one thing to note is that your other VPC can only connect using the same region. So your other VPC should have a subnet within the same region. So that's a very important thing for you to know. So let's click on add endpoint now. And now let's refresh this particular page. And you can see that your connection is created. So all that you need to do now is basically you can connect to your endpoint using this particular IP address. So let's do that. Let's create a virtual machine in our new VPC. Let's go to VM instances. And let's create an instance. And it has to be in US central one. So that's one thing to remember. And let's create an E2 micro. And let's change the boot disk. Let's make it standard persistent. Let's click on select and let's create this instance. And once your instance is created, let's SSH into this machine. And what we'll do is we'll do a curl command on that particular IP address that we have. So let's do a curl on that IP address. And you can see that it's connecting to the internal load balancer via the private service connect. So this is how you can connect to your load balancer from another network using your private service connect. So I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next.